Gen X, how did you guys do it? How did you stay out of the generational hate world? Oh, I think there's a better question to be asked here. Would you really want us to get involved? Because Gen X truly is the last of the FAFO generation. And before you ask us to FA, ask yourself, do you really want to FO? This generational hate war, we're not involved because we don't care. Do you really want us to care? Yeah, we didn't get participation trophies, so before we get on, understand there's going to be a clear-cut winner and loser. It will be a hands-on activity. Gen X is the last of the feral and wild and free children. It's like Lord of the Flies. We were all raised by each other. Think of it kind of like the Jungle Book. We're all just Mobley. And before either parties think that they could hang with Gen X and drink the Kool-Aid, I need to remind you our Kool-Aid was made with hose water. Our parents weren't out here gentle parenting anything. They did not raise us to be their friend. Truthfully, they didn't really raise us at all. We came home when the street lights came on because home, there was chores at home. There was work to be done at home. And we understood that we didn't want to do that. For Gen X kids, home is not where the heart is. Home is where they wanted you out by the time you were 18. You better have a job. I just don't think people understand. Gen X truly doesn't have like a social group. Our social group was like the breakfast club. You just dealt with the people who lived on your street. Your friends were the people who lived in your area. That was your crew. You rode around on your little 10 speeds with them like little Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club. People who grew up as Gen X had more miles by the time they were 13 years old on their 10 speeds than you'll ever get off of some kind of spin class. Sidebar, I rode around in the old neighborhood the other day from where my house was to where the pool was. It is five and a half miles. We made that every day, twice a day. And the reason why Gen X is so quiet now is because... We've seen the system fail multiple times. Right wing, left wing, it's the same bird. Oh, the government's failing its people. Yes. And if you are waiting for it to fix itself, then you're only failing yourself. We want to be left alone. We don't want to people with people unless there are people because not every person is worth putting pants on for. You're all at the age now to where we are built for comfort, not speed. If I have to leave the house, there better be a clear cut reason. We all have thick skin. Not everything offended us. We had the frickin' goonies. Not that our give a damn was all too terribly high to begin with, but somewhere between that time and now, it is officially broken. X has realized a long time ago that opinions are a lot like butts. Everybody has one. Doesn't mean I want to hear it. We didn't go home and tell our parents about the adventures. We understood that snitches got stitches. We kept our mouths shut. So don't involve us in a situation that you don't want us to get involved in. We stayed out of it because we didn't care. If you give us a reason to care, you might have wished that we would have stayed out of it.